They are fascinating, rugged, durable, and in some cases, quite collectible. When it comes to quartz, they are fantastic choices because of their reliability. However, to me, there is one annoying issue with them all, fathoming their functions and setting the time. Yes, I know I can just read the manual, and I do that all the time, but I keep forgetting what button does what, and how long I have to push this or that button before needing to light some candles and do the hokey pokey in order to set something. Enter my saving grace, this G-Shock with Bluetooth connectivity. The specs are as follows. A 54 mm diameter and a 14.1 mm thickness. A weight of 101 grams. A water resistance of 20 bar, which means that you can technically scramble your brains underwater with this thing. You have a nuke symbol that serves as a battery indicator. A heart strap. Mineral glass, so no sapphire goodness. You also have backlighting and a world timer, among other things. It is connected by Bluetooth and a phone app, which means that with a simple click, the time and date is set precisely, and that is quite to my liking. It has what I love, a world timer, backlighting, and in this case, even the date function, because I don't have to worry about setting it correctly. It has a gorgeously brushed steel case that has lots of things written on it. It has a lush and ever so comfortable strap in rubber, which looks the part too. It's even driven by solar power so you never have to change the battery. And look, here it is on my wrist. Rugged, no nonsense, and massive. But at the same time, it's very light and manageable. The one and only quartz watch for the active man on the go. Problems? Well, the watch is quite expensive. More expensive than your run-of-the-mill G-Shock, but a lot less expensive than the MTG or MRG models. Still, for the 350 US dollars you pay for this, you could get a mechanical micro brand. But this might be a moot point, because I bought this because I wanted just this Bluetooth connectivity function. And guess what? I paid full retail. Then there's the size. If you have smaller wrists, it will look very oversized indeed. Then there's the constant worry over the brushed case, and how it will scratch by simply having you thinking about looking at it. But all in all, despite this, I reach for this watch all the time. It is so comforting to know that this watch is so little fuss and faff. Another reason why I need to make this video is because of my colleague, or rather, one of my bosses, who asked me about the concept of time. He's quite annoyed by the fact that people misuse time and waste time. Namely, they waste and misuse his time. And so, he asked me to give my view on the concept of time. To me, it's quite complicated in a simple manner. Time does not really exist, since it is a concept that us humans have created in order to keep track. A second is the time between two healthy heartbeats. And since we know we are on borrowed time and that we will soon perish, we need to be able to dispense our time properly. We have created a way to keep track of things, where we are in the universe. A planet does not care how long it takes for it to rotate around a sun or a celestial body. And yet, it does take different amounts of time for different amounts of celestial bodies to do so. In the universe, some days are shorter and some days are longer. Some years are shorter and some years are longer. But to us, we only care about the 365.25 days that we have every year. So when it comes to time, sometimes it is important to know your exact place in the universe. And this is where this G-Shock comes in with its Bluetooth connectivity that will always allow you to see the exact time. It tells me my exact place in the world and how I can dispense my little fractions of ether. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Mr. Jacobson. Wishing you all a Merry Christmas. Thank you all so much for your support in 2020. It has meant so much to me and this tiny, tiny channel. See you all in 2021.